Rachel, John, welcome to live from the web carpet. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Great to be with you. We have this generational thing with Transformers toys going through the generations. But you, John. Yes. Your favorite toy <laughs> as a guy about this tall. What was it? Well, when I was a little kid, I, we didn't have toys, so I made them myself. Tell I me what you made. made toys. I, you know, I used to get boxes. Mm -hmm. I used to wait till there was somebody sending a big box, mm -hmm. or if for Christmas some, something came in a big box, like a pair of skis or a, or a bicycle. And I would take the box and I would cut it up, make things out of it, like airplanes and stuff like that. And I would work with that when mm -hmm. I was a kid. And I used to, I was very inventive when I was a kid. And I think that, uh, um, so I don't remember the toys. The toys kind of came after me. That's how old I am. Mm -hmm. Oh, stop. We used to go out into the mountains. <laughs> and uh, then we play with rocks about uh, four hours. Did you do what every, every quizzical kid did, jump off the roof with the umbrella? Ever do something dumb like that? Oh, I had, oh. I had a thing when I, I used, to, I used to climb trees. I used to climb trees opposite my house, and there was a whole row of trees next to the parkway. And they would go down the whole block, and I tried to go from one tree to the other. This is when I was a little kid, and, I, and I, at one time I saw, I saw a, a Superman movie, and I was, oh. there was a jump I wanted to make, or a Tarzan movie or something, and there was a jump, and I knew I couldn't jump because the thing would give way underneath me. This is not very important. This is great. But, <laughs> and then I tried it. I, I came back from this Saturday, Saturday afternoon movie, you know, and I said, I'm going to try it. I, was, I knew it was stupid, and I jumped. The thing gave way under me, and I fell about, you know, 15, 20 feet through branches and stuff like that, and my br brother, Chip, ran into my mother and said, you know, John tried to fly. <laughs> he thought he was Superman. He tried to fly. And meanwhile, I was, I was knocked out on the ground for oh. a while, you know, stuff like that. Oh, man. But uh, that's the kind of, so I'm glad the toys came in because now, now kids are safer. <laughs> Yeah, and you're safer. <laughs> that Rachel, was the what, beginning uh, of the whole John Voight action hero thing. Did you guys feel there. like you guys were on this map, just integral parts in this massive toy game yourselves? You know? Right, she? Uh, I don't know about an integral part, but it was just such a privilege to be a part of such an extraordinary world. I mean, Michael Bay has created this, this, this whole in, in dazzling environment, so to be a part of that landscape was, you know, quite a privilege. It was extraordinary. Is he now? This is your second time. Is he a general on the set? What's oh, yeah. his What's his What's his demeanor? It. What's his mood on the set? Is it is day to day? <laughs> it's, our, it's minute to minute. <laughs> uh, actually, Michael. Well, Michael is a. Uh, you know, he's like an athlete. Uh, you know, just after the first half or something like that. That's what. You know, like he can't get back. He wants to get back on the field and and recapture the lead or something like that. Something's in his. He comes on to correct everything, mm. to make everything go. You know what I mean? And then he's, he he looks down at you because you're not keeping up with the thing that's in his head mm. or something like that. Mm. But he has a vision, mm -hmm. very strong vision, and uh, and then you're part of the paint, so you have to figure out a way to, uh, you know, participate using your own preparation mm -hmm. and what you think is needed and how you might fit mm -hmm. in with everybody else. It's uh, Part, you know, mm -hmm. part of the story. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we had a we had a good time making mm -hmm. this film have, have, uh, have, uh, with the, you know, all the people involved. Have Transformers fans buddied up to you and said, "Hey, here's what I think we should be doing," or "Here's what I want to see." Have you been getting that over the past year and a half? Because uh, there's a lot of, you know, really hardcore Transformers mm -hmm. lovers. I That's know right. Transformers fans strike me as very a very zealous bunch, and they haven't, you know, offered anything up. To me personally, but I know they were, you know, quite active in sort of sharing their opinions online with Michael. But I don't think they're going to be disappointed by this film. Oh, I think at all. they'll only be just completely Absolutely. satisfied and more than that. In yeah. other words, it's it's everything I dreamed of and more. Yeah. Nice tucking and rolling in the film. Way to go! Oh, <laughs> was it in? And so right. Yeah, you roll around. <laughs> You're up, down. You know. Oh, that's good you because like a there Mac was, Daddy a, there was a, a commando roll that Rachel mm. has given me a lot of. The John Voight uh, commando roll. Is what kudos we call it. for. Yeah. yeah, Rambo better be looking over his shoulder. Nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the time. Thank you, Lance.